Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Channel. My name is Sumit, and I am here with my new video in Salesforce AWS integration. So, in my previous video, I explained how post to AWS. So, in this video, I will be going to show you how do we migrate the data from. AWS to Salesforce using AppFlow, using AWS app. So if you are, before we begin, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please do like subscribe my channel and post your comments in comment box. So let's begin this video now. And uh, as I told you that the, the uh, we will be going to see that how do we migrate the data from AWS to Salesforce. So in order to demonstrate this, first of all, I have created one file, one Excel file. So this is my CSV file. So that's my CSV file and you can see that's my CSV file, which I'm going to show you. In this file, as you can see, this file contains no, and this file contains five records. And I would like to migrate this data from AWS to Salesforce. So first of all, we'll be going to upload this file into Salesforce AWS S3 bucket. And by using AppFlow, we'll move that data, we'll move that file from sales for, from AWS to Salesforce and add new records into account object. So that's my Salesforce instance. And let me show you my Salesforce instance, the sales object. And in this sales object, I got an account object. In sales application, I got account object. And in this account object, right now I got 32 items. And these record does not exist over there like account from Mike, Peter, Suzanne, David, James. These record does not exist. So so instead of adding data directly into, into Salesforce, we will be assuming that we will be uh, we, we, uh, we got the CSV file into AWS S3 bucket or we might get this file from different data sources into, into AWS and now from AWS we would like to migrate this into Salesforce. So let's see how do we do this. So first of all, let me sign in into my sale, uh, my AWS console. And in this AWS console, in this AWS console, let me log in first. So my username and uh, let me give my password. That's the password. And as you can see, I successfully logged in into my Amazon AWS management console. And here I click on S3 because I just, I would like to uh, upload this CSV file into a bucket. So as you can see, we got a bucket right now, name as AI text one SF DC bucket. And this bucket is empty. So I'm going to upload that CSV file here. So let me close this file and I'm going to upload that file here. So click on upload and add file and I'm going to upload that file from my desktop and the file name is account. Upload this file here account.csv and upload this. So you can see we successfully uploaded that file. I successfully add that file into my AWS S3 bucket. So that's my bucket now and this bucket contains this file. Now I would like to move this file uh, whatever record we uh, saved into this file i just wanted to move all the records or i just want to add all the records here in my account object within salesforce so how do we do this so for this we will be going to take help of app flow so we'll be using amazon app flow to do this so i click on amazon app flow now amazon app flow is a uh, it's, a, it's a fully managed integrated service that lets you securely transfer data between software as a service applications and AWS services. And this is a two-way communication. We can, using this app flow, we can move the data from uh, SaaS application to, uh, to uh, Amazon 
web services or from Amazon web services or AWS services to uh, SaaS. So SaaS application. So in this case, uh, we'll be, we want to move the data from Amazon web service to Salesforce. So let's create a flow here. I click on create flow. Let's give a name to this flow. So I just write here AWS to SFDC flow. We can give a description if you want. Just for identification, we click on next. Then here we have to select the data source. So as you can see, we got two data sources. We have to select a source name and the destination. So in the source, this time I select S3. So I select S3 and here I need to choose a bucket. So bucket is AI Tech One SFDC bucket. Here we have to specify the bucket prefix. So the, my, my bucket my bucket is account.csp. Account.csp, that's the bucket prefix. If I click on this, it will open that account CSV file for me. So we can validate this. We can verify this file or not, the account.csv. So AI Tech One bucket. And in this AI Tech One bucket, we used to get this file, account.csv. So we can quickly verify this one more time, account.csv, account.csv. Then it's a CSV formatted file. Now my destination, it will be Salesforce. So I click Salesforce. And we have to establish a connection. If you have already established a connection, you can use that also. Uh, in my case, I have already established a connection earlier, so I'm using that one only. If you want, you can set up a new connection. How do we create a new SFDC connection in AWS? You, uh, for that, you can check my previous video. So I click on SFDC AI Tech One connection. Select the object name. So my object is account object and data transfer settings automatic and run on demand click on next now the next step is very important uh, very important step that is called field mapping so those who have already experienced in salesforce so they might know it, they might be knowing that you know whenever we want to migrate the data from external application external apps to salesforce we always have to map the columns or the field same thing we'll be doing here also so i say manually map fields and uh, destination record, choose how you will, would you like to handle your data? Your data will be added as a new record in the destination. And from Amazon S3 to Salesforce. So now I just wanted to add account name, phone, type, industry, and what is these are the fields. I don't want to move serial number. That's why I skip that. And then click on field mapping to, man to do the field mapping. So account name will be stored into name. Phone, phone will be saved as phone. So make sure that the mapping will be correct. Otherwise, the data will get stored into wrong field, account type. And industry will be industry. And annual revenue will be annual revenue. So here I did a proper field mapping and click on map fields. So the fields map successfully. You can see account name, annual revenue will get stored into uh, annual revenue field in Salesforce, industry into industry field, phone into phone field, and type will be in type field. If you want to add some validation, so we can put a validation here or else we can skip that. This is optional. It's not a mandatory section. Click on next. Now it's time to add a filter. If you want to add a filter, you can provide a filter here or else we simply click on next. And uh, this is a review. So we can review and create. I quickly review that. And finally, I click on create flow. And we can run flow. So once a flow will be created, I can run this flow to test it. So I click on run flow and let's test it. So by the time the flow is running, we can just quickly go and check. Here we have 32 items right now. I haven't refreshed this. And once I refresh, it should display the, uh, it should show the five new records, which we, uh, the, the five new records, which we added. So as you can see now, the app uh, flow executed finished successfully. And now I'm going to check it out. So how do I do this? I get back to Salesforce, click on refresh. And now you can see I got five new items. Account for David, account for James.
and account for Mike, account for Peter, account for Susan. So all these files, all the records actually, which we uh, saved in this CSV file and from CSV, we move that CSV file to AWS bucket and from AWS, we move those records to Salesforce account object. So that's the way we can bring the data or we can move the data from AWS to Salesforce by using app flow without writing any code, without writing any single line of code. Although we have a possibility to do that by using Apex class, but for that we need to create an Apex class in Salesforce and there we have to manually run the operation. So we will be going to cover uh, that also that how do we create, how do we create an Apex class in order to perform the operation in order to integrate with the AWS. For that, I'm going to prepare the second video. Uh, I'm going to prepare the, uh, some other videos in that, not in this one. This is about the data migration by using AppFlow, by using GU file. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, you can post your comment in comment below. If you got any requirement on Salesforce training, you can reach out to us on uh,